Now we've got some nice text. The only problem is, it's not very nice text, is it? It's pretty hideous. Now, we want way, way better text than that. So what we're going to do is we're going to import our own custom fonts. So in, inside assets, we're going to create a folder called fonts. And inside fonts, we're going to find a font that we like. Now, I found one here called uh, Leckery one which I think looks absolutely mint. So we're going to follow this little instruction manual. So we need this file here, React Config. We need to create that here in our root, in the root of our app. Yeah, uh, React native.config.js. Create this file. Drop that in here, and then instead of that, we need to go dot source fonts. That's all we need to do. Then we need to grab our font, which you can just go here. You can search fonts all over the place. You can you know, go to Google Fonts. You know, you can pick anything you want. You know, there's millions. They're all royalty free, or I, mean, I believe. If I'm wrong, oops. Pretty sure they're all good, but this is the one I already found, and it's the one I like, so I'm gonna go download family. And I've got it here, we just need to drag it over into fonts like that. It's going to copy it for us, which is what we want. We can't view it, which we don't care about. Um, and then once we do that, there's one more step, which is laid out in our little helpful little article here. We need to run this command, npx native asset. And that that command is going to actually deposit that font into the, the native applications for us. We have, um, if we open up our root, we see we have an iOS and an Android folder. They contain the actual native applications if you're not super familiar with um, how these things, how, how React Native Project is put together. So we need to go to our terminal and then we'll go, what was it? MPX React Native Asset. So we go on here and we need to go CD app from the app root, run that command. And because it knows where to find the, the font files, we do that. Yep, I believe that that worked. That looks good. And so now we're going to go to our VS Code again. I'm going to go to our splash screen. And then here we're going to go font family. And we should be able to use that um, font straight away. So we'll go black arrow. Like a little one. I have no idea how to pronounce that. And then that should work for us. We might need to reload. Uh, we, will, we won't need to reload it. We need to rebuild it. So we need to go make run because we changed something in the native app. So we need to rebuild the native apps for it to actually uh, recognize that change with that font. But once that does work, which it should should now, then we should be able to use our font finally after all that messing around. There we go. Now we can use our font. How good is that?